Hello everybody, welcome back to the Three Lotus Tarot. Today we are going to read for your energies of the last week of the month. What is the month now? Uh, May and we're going to go into June. So this week crosses over into June. But we're going to give you a clear indication of what your energies are this week. And that closes off May for you and starts off June, the beginning of of the second half of the year wow it's a big time of the year now half of the year has passed and i think that it is a good time for us to <clears throat> gather uh the 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 knowledge of the energies around ourselves now so that we can find out what we have to work on and focus on for the year coming up for the rest of the year coming up okay so now, for power one, we've got Knight of Cups with the black hairpin. The Knight of Cups with the black hairpin for power one. Power two, the moon with the yellow hairpin. Power two. And then we've got Judgment with the green hairpin, green hairpin for pile three. Take a look at what speaks to you and choose your pile or piles for uh, your reading in the description box below. You'll see the timestamps. And before I go, just let me tell you that energies, as usual, are not set in stone. What is happening with you this week or coming up is a response and outcome of the decisions and the karma that have gone on in the past in your life. You still have free will to make choices, decisions, and change uh, what what paths branch out for you. If you've come to this reading after this week of uh, the 29th of May, then please note that this, these piles may still have uh, benefit and important messages for you. So you can also use this as a timeless reading if you happen upon this reading after the 29th of May. Okay, so I'll see you in your readings. Hello everybody, pile one. You have chosen the Knight of Cups with the black hairpin. So firstly, the energies for you this week, the 29th of May. And uh, it can go on for one to two weeks, depending on the pace that it happens at. Uh, it looks like there is a offer coming in uh, that is related to emotions okay an offer of love an offer of forgiveness an offer of apology but something that causes um, an emotional response in you okay now let's get your other cards to find out what are how one's energies for the week of the 29th. What are Power One's energies for the week of the 29th of May? Mm. Okay, that's too many cards. Okay, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't even see this, but this card came out for you. So, I hope that may be something that you are looking for. Power One. The lovers, and I see a lot of major arcana has come out for you. Power one, the hierophant. Ah, May 29th, the high priestess. You know, guys, I, I really don't like to use the ring light because I feel that you can't see the card so well. But to this week, I've been so busy and I've had to resort to doing these readings and recordings at night. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Um, the Ace of Cups. As well as the Seven of Wands. Okay, a lot of um, energy here, which I need to 
put everything together but firstly I do want to say very importantly remember when I said that there is an offer of uh, an emotional base coming into you it does look like it is a love offer so with this card with the combination of these two cards, the Lovers and the Hierophant, it makes me think that there may be an offer of marriage coming into you or an offer of uh, something that's more permanent than what you have now. And I say this because the Hierophant is here and the Hierophant is very, uh, very much uh, about the established norms, established man-made structures of society, for example, marriage. And because you have the lover's card, because you have the nine of, knight of cups, I see that there may be a marriage proposal that is on the cards for you the 29th of May. Now, if this week and the week after is an important week for you and your partner, this could very much be something that is headed your way and I see this ace of cups as well so there's a lot of indication that moves in that direction okay if you are not in a serious relationship where there is uh, the potential of a marriage proposal coming to you then there is still an offer of love that is coming in that will lead to something really more permanent it's not a dilly dalliance it's not a, a fling. It is something that is quite serious. Um, and I think that when it is something that fulfills you, when I see the high, the high Priestess and the Six of Pentacles, I feel that this offer of love or this offer of a relationship or an offer of togetherness is something that fulfills you, something that uh, makes you feel stable, makes you feel happy, makes you feel um, at balance uh, in the world. And it it fulfills your intuition, fulfills your heart space deep inside you. You feel that this is right. You feel that this is what you do want, what will be important for you. You get a sense. You get a sense that this is the partner that you need, the partner that will give you um, the balance, the life, the stability. Uh, there will be give and take, there will be compromise, it will be a fair, balanced uh, relationship between the two of you or marriage between the two of you. So it is a wonderful energy that I see here and because it is a lot of major arcana, you know, you do see that this is a big milestone that's happening for you, pal one. Um, with the seven of wands, this may be something that has uh, uh, been hard, hard fought for uh, this person who is coming into your life, either with the offer of love or this person who is giving you a marriage proposal, either they or you have fought for this possibility, have fought for this relationship, have fought for this potential of a wedding, of a marriage. I shan't say wedding because the wedding is just a ceremony, right? And the, the marriage is the whole entire, the whole entire marathon that you're going to, to run with this partner. So either you or your partner has fought hard for this possibility to be together so it looks like a very very positive outcome for you um, I just had a, a thought that uh, it could also be that this person has been wanting to start a relationship with you but you have not given that them that opportunity so but I think that in the 25th of May the week of the 25th of May or thereafter when they truly come in and tell you that I seriously feel this deep need to be with you, you know, because we feel we are meant to be, you will feel your heart open and you will um, hear it answering the call that's deep within you with the high priestess and you will give them a chance. You will open up and give them a chance. Ooh. 
that is amazing okay anything else that we need to know for pile one for their energy for the week of the 29th of may anything else that they need to know about for their week of the 29th of may okay so four cards came out guys firstly the three of pentacles ah collaboration working together community oh the hanged man the nine of wands and uh, the magician so remember when i said that it's a hard fought hard won um getting together or relationship it's it, it was not easy to get to with the seven of wands you know you or your partner have tried hard to make this work um, so I see this reflected again here so what else do you need to know uh, about your energies this week was the question and uh, the universe wants to remind you that you know this has been a long time just kind of floating but either this person has not uh, geared up and found the courage to ask you for you know for being together for starting a relationship together or they have wanted to and they've even sought the help of others perhaps to convince you with the three of pentacles so others have been helping them or helping you convince your partner that you guys ought to be together so there has been other people involved and other people providing help other people providing insight but it has taken a long time even with the nine of wands here we see that there has been a um, a time where you know the relationship couldn't be couldn't be uh, invoked or the marriage proposal was not coming along somebody was waiting either you were waiting if you're the one waiting for a marriage proposal or if you're the one giving the marriage proposal the other party was waiting or you have been waiting for the right time but lo and behold we end with the magician which sees that manifestation the successful manifestation of this wedding proposal this marriage proposal or the start of this relationship so a lot of um, good tidings a lot of celebratory stuff that's coming to you power one but i want to tell you that these are the energies that surround you for this week and maybe even the week after however if this is not what you want really really like you decide this is not what i want then you still have free will to choose the path that you wish to go upon all right and at the same time i do want to uh, um, share with you not to attach a timeline to this offer that may be coming in don't expect it to happen the 29th of may because sometimes the other person's energies um, or karma could come into play and that could change or tweak or you know move the timeline a little bit or or they could choose because they have free will too they could choose another path right so don't affix an attachment to what i'm telling you now um, and and the timeline that i'm telling you about because there is free will on your side there is free will on the other person's side and things could change however this is the energy that surrounds you this week power one okay now i want to end with a secret self-care oracle card um, let's look at taking care of you for this week the end of the first half of 2023 and the beginning of the second half of the 2023 so what uh, is an important part for power one to focus upon for self-care what is important for power one to focus upon for self-care going forward one card came out let's look at this card who abundance planning 
So this card came out in the reverse, which makes me believe that you have not done this, but uh, you can start doing this now. So think about what it is that you would love to welcome into your life, the energies that you want to welcome into your life, the results, the outcomes that you want to welcome into your life. Let's see what's written here. You have uh, living expenses, education or business, self-development, whatever it is that you want, more of in your life or you want to invite into your life start writing them down so it's very much like a, a journaling anyway it's very much like journaling so put down what you wish uh, create a vision board perhaps and and when you focus on that and when you invest your energies and your thoughts into into what you write here your goals then you will be able to you know thoughts turn into actions turn into outcomes so i wish you all the very best of luck if it is a love offer that you're looking for i see this very much on the cards for you this week um i will leave you with that power one amazing news amazing amazing news and uh I wish you a lot of happiness, a lot of good luck. And if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of readings like this, do subscribe to my channel, The Three Lotus Tarot. I will be hoping to see you in the next reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello, Pal 2. You've chosen the moon as well as the yellow hairpin. Straight off the bat, um, I do want to tell you that the energies that we will see here today for the week of the 29th of May, or maybe even one more week after that, are energies that are coming to you because of your past actions, because of your past karma, okay? But these energies are not set in stone because you do have free will to make certain choices, to make certain decisions, and that could change the past that open up for you for these one to two weeks, all right? And if you come upon this reading after the 29th of May, that this could just mean that there are important messages too for you. Right. So now straight off power two, we see the moon here. And I wonder if we will be able to get a lot of information or there are things that you'll just have to find out as they come along. So the moon tells us that um, something's unknown, something's hidden. Um, stuff may come out for you in your dreams. Some messages may come out for you in your dreams. So you could pay some attention to that to, to see if any messages come out for you. Uh, but this, this moon here looks very serene it does look very very mysterious compared to other moon cards it does look very mysterious but it's beautiful and serene and there's this face here who looks just <sighs> calm okay and we see this um, crayfish that's coming out of the water on its way to through evolution I don't, is it me or I can't see the dogs? Okay, I, I do see the, the the dog and the wild dog and the domesticated dog here very darkly. But alright, so let's see what your cards come out with. The Four of Cups. Mm, something that you don't see. You don't see this that's come into your life. Or the energy that's there. The Emperor. The magician, Ooh, wow, as well as the tower, something is majorly changing for you. Out of out of the one, two, three, four, five cards that you've got, pal, two, um, one, two, three, four are major arcana. So it does really look like this mid of the year uh, timeline is super 
impactful, super significant for a lot of people. Even Pile 1 is having a big change in their life. But your change, Pile 2, is a major transformation with the tower. Let's not worry about the the common understanding that the tower is something to be afraid of it is not something to be afraid of it is the universe bringing you a change that you need to have happen for you to progress on the journey uh, that you're meant to progress on okay a lot of times things happen in your life and you can make decisions and and you may choose certain certain pathways right so but overall, there are key milestones or key lessons that you will have to go through as a soul or that you'll have to learn as a soul. And if you make decisions that take you away from those critical milestones, then the universe does try to bring you back to what you do need to learn, what you contracted to learn or contracted to undergo. And this is when the tower comes in to bring about the destruction and the obliteration of what is already there and standing but does not serve you anymore so that there is space and room for the new okay and i do see you very powerfully very powerfully very steadfastly manifesting this change the emperor and the magician here um, very strong energies very masculine energies so you will see a lot of um, perhaps a lot of a lot of dedication, a lot of decision making, a lot of intelligence, a lot of um, facts and harder harder emotions or harder drivers of how you're going to bring about the new after the destruction of the old. All right. So this is an energy that's come in. Or an event or a situation that has come into your life to help bring about this tower I think you don't know what it is you don't see it it's come into your life already it's there but you don't see it yet you don't see it yet because you're only looking at what's in front of you but you don't see this cup at the back so it's already in your life pal too it's manifested and it's going to start its role and uh, that is something that you do have to learn. It is something that you have to go through because it is your evolutionary path. And we may not get very many um, pieces of information about it. But what you need to understand, Pal, too, is that there is something in the fall that needs to happen for your change. And it looks like it's a powerful change that will bring about... Um, bring about an, uh, um, a more masculine energy to you that will help you in your life you just don't know about um, this trigger yet okay uh, what else can we know about for pal 2 is there anything else we can tell pal 2 for the energies of the week of the 29th of may what else can we tell pal 2 for the energies of the 29th of may Mm, this one wants to come out. Right, -o. so um, the hanged man came out in reverse. Eight of Cups. I'm sorry about the ring light, but this week I've just been so busy that I've, I'm having to do these recordings at night and I do need the ring light. Ten of Swords. But I'm going to try and make sure you can still see the cards, yeah? And the King of Cups. Ooh. So. Um, the Hanged Man is in reverse because there is, it's time for movement now. The tower has come. There's no more hanging around, uh, pausing, okay? The Hanged Man is over. It's in reverse. It's over. Your time to, it's your time to come out of the chrysalis now and turn into a, cat, uh, into a butterfly from a caterpillar. The Eight of Cups denotes that you are leaving something behind, yes, because the all is being 
destroyed so that the new can happen. And this perhaps is maybe you will look forward to this big change because it was the Ten of Swords. It's the end of a cycle and it was not an easy cycle for you. Ooh, also, it is the end of the first half of the year. So, the Ten of Swords, it was maybe not easy for you this year. It's been a long time. It's been difficult. I think you're happy to be rid of this cycle. And you definitely are Eight of Cups walking away and leaving it behind. And uh, the universe tells us that your energy following this tower moment and the rebuilding of yourself with the energies of the emperor and the magician will leave you very, very satisfied, very happy, very stable in your own power. You will be contented, you will feel fulfilled and you will feel strong. Look at how strongly this king of cups is standing here he's strong he's like a uh, knee deep in water so there's a lot of emotions i think maybe you'll feel a lot of relief as well a lot of relief a lot of gratefulness gratitude that this ten of swords is past this time is past you're no longer hanging about uh waiting you are ready to leave it. You are ready now to leave it. And, and the universe has brought about this tower moment for you so that you can proceed to progress. Ooh, big, big energy for you, pal, too. Uh, remember, energies are not set in stone. This has happened for you because of your, your decisions and your karmas, your choices in the past. This has come about, but you still have free will to choose what you're going to do. So I, I pray that you do the right thing and move towards self-development, move towards progress and to be uh, a better you, a better you and move towards your higher self. Trust Trust, trust. That word is very important for me because I learned a big um, lesson about it. Trust that the universe is here to help you for your highest good. Trust that the universe is here to help you for your higher good. You may not understand it, you may not know what is happening. You may not see the end picture, the bigger picture. But the change is always brought to you for your better good. Okay? Don't be afraid to change. The time of staying still is over. Right. Oof. Pato, I've got chills. Ah, okay, I've got chills. But remember this, please. Tell this to yourself every day. Trust that the universe is here to help me for my highest good. Tell yourself in the mirror, pal, to trust that the universe is here to bring me towards my highest good. Okay, so let's get a sacred self-care oracle card. Let's see what can pal to focus on for self-care this week of the 29th of May. What can pal to focus on? That's too many. What can Pal to focus on for self care this week of the 29th of May? A card, please. A card, please. I like to let the cards drop out on their own. Okay, anything else? Anything else? So, your cards are beauty ritual. You know what I see this as? I see this as recognizing the beauty in yourself, pal too. Don't be afraid. Trust the universe. Don't, don't think that you're not worthy of something better. See the beauty in yourself. Recognize the worth of you, the value of you. You are worth it because you are worth it, right? That, that was the, the, the commercial of a beauty brand. 
you are worth it and you deserve better. So leave what is not for your highest good behind. Believe in yourself. See your beauty. See your value. See your worth. Oh, ground yourself as well. Yep. Ground yourself because big things are happening for you. A lot of energy, a lot of powerful energy. The emperor, the magician, the tower energy is all around you. Ground yourself. Meditate if you can. And tell yourself to trust that the universe has your back. The universe is here for, to help you towards your highest good. Mm. And look at all the colors from this card to this card. All, all the rainbow colors are here. And I take this to mean that after this tower moment, you are going to be, like I said, you know, so relieved, so fulfilled, so happy. You are going to be thinking that there's rainbows everywhere in your life. Uh, every color is going to fill your life and fill you with joy. So pile two, I'll leave you with this. There's a lot uh, that you probably will work on for this week or two weeks. Trust. Tell yourself to trust. See the beauty in yourself. And if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up if it has been helpful for you. And if this comes, whatever happens with you, if you can leave me a comment and let us know how you have uh, uh, taken this pathway towards evolution, that would be wonderful. I'd really love to know what you are going through. And um, please, if you'd like to see more readings like this one, do subscribe to my channel, The Three Lotus Tarot. And until I see you in the next one, Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. You've chosen the Judgment card together with the green hairpin. So, a quick, a quick reminder that the energies that you will see here today are for the week of the 29th of May. However, you have a lot of free will and you're able to still make decisions and choices and change your approach to how you want to do things and that may see different pathways open up for you. But the energies that are surrounding you for this week are a result of actions and decisions or karma that have taken on uh, taken its place in your life before this okay and um, I see that you have chosen the judgment card the biggest thing that always jumps out to me about this card is that this angel here reminds me of Daenerys Targaryen from the Game of Thrones you know I don't know why it's just that the facial shape and um, you know the blonde hair but the judgment card is about a time of reckoning, a time of self-reflection and you being able to decide if you have done what it takes, you have done well, you have done good, you have done right or not. And the call is here. It may also be a time to, uh, for the universe to remind you like, hello, 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 pal three. Take a look at yourself. Take a look around you. Are you happy with what you're doing? Are you happy with what you've achieved? Are you happy with how you're treating others? Are you happy with the life or the relationships or the career that you have built for yourself? Because if you're not, now is a perfect time. Now is a good opportunity for you to be able to effect change. If you are happy with what you have built up around you, it's, it's also good to self-reflect and and you know be give thanks, be grateful to those who have helped you on your way, situations that may have helped you, people who have, may have helped you, but also to understand why you are happy with what you have done uh, to achieve what you've achieved. So whichever the the coin falls, whether you're happy or you're not happy, uh, self-reflection is called for. Um, and to be honest and truthful with yourself. Oh, okay, that's, that's too many counts. Let me just pick the one that fell off. Fell off to the floor. Let's shuffle the energies for... 
how three for the week of the 29th of May. What are the energies surrounding how three for the week of the 29th of May? What are the energies surrounding how three for the week of the 29th of May? So, judgment pile, pile three, you have strength. You have the queen of cups. The ace of pentacles. As well as the three of pentacles. Oh, remember what I said earlier. If you're happy with what you've done, if you're happy with what you've achieved, self-reflect and also be give thanks and be grateful for the people or the situations that have helped you get where you are. So don't forget the people who helped you. Don't forget the mentors. Don't forget um, the helping hands, the cogs in the wheel, everybody, the little people sometimes, you know, because um, sometimes when people rise very high, they forget uh, the people who, who help them on the way. Mm. So there's a lot of strength around you this week or you are called to have strength and be honest with yourself. This may this may come in uh, with the energy of being candid and honest with yourself. Did you really get this way all by yourself or did you have people helping you or were you lucky or you know it was good karma that manifested because you were good to others in the past and now they're here to do their turn to help you. Okay? Or if you are not happy with what you have done, what you have achieved, what you've brought about in the world, then be honest with yourself. Have the strength, the courage to talk um, firmly, lovingly with yourself to figure out what you'd like to change, what can change, how you should change. Okay, So your strength is called upon to be honest and candid with yourself. And give credit where credit is due. Change where change is due. Okay? And the Queen of Cups also tells you to be kind to yourself. Not unduly kind to yourself. Oh, I did this all on my own, you know. Even though everybody was against me, I did it all on my own. That's not what I mean about being kind to yourself. But... There are some times when we beat ourselves up too much and like, oh, I'm so useless, I'm so dumb, I should have done that, I should have known that, I should have this, I should have that. But the thing is, if you really tried your best or if there was no other decision you could have made at that point in time, don't beat yourself up about it. But learn. It's always about learning to be better for the next time, for the next opportunity, for the next person who you can help. So bear that in mind this week of the 29th or even the week after if the, if the, um, if the energy moves a little bit more slowly. You also have the Ace of Pentacles. Something new is starting up. So yes, because it is a time of self-reflection, judgment for yourself, there is something new, a new phase that will come about because this is usually the closing chapter. Like you, you review, right? You review what has gone on before and then you make a plans for the future. So something new will, will come about. But take this week and even the week after if you need to for self-reflection um, and assessment self-assessment do you pass okay so now what else can we know about the energies for power three anything else for us to know about the energies of power three a 29th of May? anything else that we can know about for power three power three the energies of power three energies of power three ninth of May. Okay, so the Three of Wands came out. The Three of Wands for me is always that result card, the outcome card, because the Two of Wands is that planning, that planning, trying to set it in motion, choosing decisions. Um, and then the Three of Wands is watching your ships come in. 
you've done the work now you're watching okay let's let's see this journey where it's taken us what is the what is the outcome what is the result so yeah that's what you're doing look it's in conjunction with strength please have strength and the courage to be honest and candid and grateful if uh if that is what is called for okay whatever is called for be brave enough to take that on oh you also have the knight of wands the knight of wands is about um about the the characteristics of our personality which is uh, you know all about courage confidence charisma uh passion creativity so it's that that i what i always call the softer uh, softer characteristics so it's not like you know like technical know-how but it's more of like how you behave and how you are as a human being so yes there is that energy here this week because it is that week of judgment for yourself okay so take a look be brave go right into it and the night is always about forward movement the night is always about action like so this is the week for you to take action in self-assessment in self-realization in not deluding yourself in opening up your eyes to seeing what is really happening in the world around you as a result of you perhaps so uh, that is that energy of the night of wands okay so uh one last one last uh, shuffle what else can we know for power three what else can we know for power three for the week of the 29th of may okay one card very quickly jumped out for you let's see what it is three of swords yeah it's not going to be easy it may have there may be some um uh painful things in there for you when you're looking through your your book your history when you're looking through it that's why you're called upon to have strength that's why you're called upon to also be kind to yourself okay so it's not going to be easy perhaps there has been things that uh, have happened in your past or you know decisions or actions that you have taken which you wish that you have not or in high, like as time went on you realize that they weren't the best thing to do but it's okay if you realize now that it wasn't the best thing to do you know how you are be how you can be kind to yourself is that you didn't you know at least you know now that you did not make the best decision you did not make the best decision for yourself or you did not make the best decision for somebody else but you made that decision don't beat yourself up about making that decision but learn from i know that that wasn't the right decision because dup, 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 dup. and next time if uh, you know a similar occasion situation comes up i'm going to know how to do better and i'm going to remind myself that i should be looking at this 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 doing that 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 okay so it's not going to be the easiest thing for you the universe wanted me to get one last card to tell you it's not going to be easy there can be painful moments in that journey uh, of self-assessment but be strong and be kind to yourself Whew. right so now i want to get a sacred self-care card to see how pal three can um care for themselves this week of the 29th of May. How can Power 3 care for themselves this week of the 29th of May? No, Burning Bowl Ritual. Do you know what this is? The Burning Bowl Ritual is about writing down all that you do not want in your life anymore. Energies, habits, thoughts, um feelings that you don't want in your life anymore and then burn them off burn them in a safe way please burn them so that you release them tell the universe i release all these um that are not for my highest good 
be they habits, be they thoughts, be they thought processes, be they emotions, uh, whatever it is that you feel that is not serving you in the best way, not helping you in the best way to grow and develop as a better person, throw that away. Throw that away via the burning bowl ritual. So you have so many messages here, Pal 3, that really all bring you about to that same, um, same activity that needs to happen for you, which is to learn, I would say. At the, at the crux of it all, it is all about learning and learning how to be a better you. So I'm going to leave you with that, pile three. Uh, all three piles have had very strong, impactful messages for uh, their, their queerance. And I think that it's also because it, it, we are at that critical point in time of the mid of the year of 2023 so it is a perfect time actually for you to take stock of what has happened so that you can do even better for the rest of the year so if you've liked this reading part three please give me a thumbs up it really helps the video get going and helps my channel grow please subscribe to my channel the three lotus tarot if you'd like to see more readings like this one and until I see you in the next one, bye-bye.